Whether by land, air, or sea, development of transportation technology has gone hand in hand with the flourishing of any human society. So in the high-tech world we live in today, it is no surprise that the vehicles around us are becoming more advanced each and every day. In this video, we're going to take a look at eight of the most advanced vehicles this world has to offer. We must begin with two quick points. One, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Number two, no prices are included for any of the vehicles on this list. You can safely assume it's a lot. Okay, here we go. Number one, Nissan IMX Kuro. The Nissan IMX Kuro is a sharp looking vehicle that is completely autonomous. That's right, it's a self driver. This car is also fully electric, producing zero emissions. One of the coolest features on the Nissan is the panoramic dashboard. The OLED display takes the images from cameras on the exterior of the car and displays it on the dash, giving the driver the feeling of floating through space. The Kuro was designed based on the Japanese concepts of ma and wa, meaning space and time, and the contradictory relationship of stillness and motion. Number two, Mercedes-Benz Vision Urbanetic. The Vision Urbanetic by Mercedes-Benz is the base of a car that has an interchangeable exterior. So depending on what the owner of the vehicle is up to on a particular day, they just change out the body of this self-driving car to fit their needs. It can be thin and sleek or bulked up to handle up to 20 passengers inside. It can also be modified to carry a pretty impressive load of cargo. So for the driver who can't make up their mind, this vehicle may just be the solution to their indecision. Number three, Mitsubishi MRI 4. Next up, we have a sharp looking car from Mitsubishi. The MRI 4 can be autonomous, but you can also drive it yourself if that is more your style. The displays on the interior show an augmented reality view of the outside world inside the vehicle to give the driver more clarity during low visibility situations or when using navigation. It's equipped with biometric authentication and can monitor the state of the driver while in operation. Not only that, but this car can also pick up on lane usage and even detect the position of other cars and avoid reckless drivers. Number four, Harley Davidson Livewire. You know we're living in the future when the one company that is the epitome of muscle comes out with an electric model. Harley Davidson's Livewire is a fully electric hog that has all the features most electric cars have these days, including touchscreen displays and four different riding modes, including sport, rain, eco and road. This bike certainly does not have the characteristic engine sound of the classic Harley, but it's about as muscular as an electric vehicle can be. Now listen, if you want to get as muscular as that electric Harley, you better subscribe to this channel right now. Of the Harley Davidson Livewire, this is Harley Davidson's first ever production EV electric motorcycle. So it's a big day for Harley and it's a big day for the segment of electric motorcycles. This is what Harley says will be the first of several EV bikes in their product line that are upcoming. So they're positioning the Livewire as the halo model, the flagship of their EV line. And the price reflects that. Number five, NASA X57. The electric plane seemed an impossibility for a long time, despite the desire to switch over from traditional fuels for environmental reasons. But the technology of batteries and propulsion systems are rapidly improving to the point that NASA has a fully electric plane capable of getting in the air. This plane has the same downsides of electric cars in that its range is limited to 100 miles and a flight time of only one hour. While limiting in terms of long-range airline-type travel, this type of short-range flight can still be quite useful in reducing cost and noise in short-range cargo flights. 
This is just the beginning of the electric plane era. Only time will tell how far this might go. The X-57 is expected to have a range of about 100 miles and a flight time of one hour. There just aren't batteries capable of powering larger planes or longer trips quite yet. That's why most electric aircraft technology right now is limited to hybrid planes, small flight training aircraft, and urban ride sharing. For those purposes, electric aircraft are kind of ideal, vastly reducing operating and maintenance costs for short range flights. Number six, the flying car. The flying car isn't quite there yet, but what seemingly only belongs in cartoons may very well become a reality soon. A few different companies are working on this idea, and to give you an idea of how serious this research is, Google co-founder Larry Page donated $100 million to one of these startups called z -Aero. One of the few in this space, Terrafugia, has plans to have cars in the air by 2025. This model would transform from a car into a flying machine, take off and land before transforming back into its vehicular state, all while operating autonomously. This opens a whole host of regulatory problems because since it's never been done before, there are no stop signs in the air. But once those details are ironed out, the flying car will open up an entirely new world of transportation options and will make traffic jams a thing of the past. Number seven, Ferrux Ant. Ferrux is a company that designs vehicles for the express purpose of making the world a better place through technology. One of their humanitarian vehicles is known as the Ant, or Advanced Necessities Transport. It's designed to be able to deliver essentials such as food, water, and medical supplies to disaster-stricken areas harnessing the strategy of literal ants. The Ant can move quickly and haul large quantities of supplies. Once it's reached its destination, the vehicle can drop off the cargo portion of the Ant and head back to pick up another load. The all-terrain design allows it to move both on or off-road depending on when and where help is needed. Number eight, Ehang Autonomous Drone. If the Transformer stuff isn't what you're into, then perhaps you just wanna fly. I'm glad you asked because the company Ehang has developed a drone that is large enough to carry a passenger. Operating fully autonomously, Ehang drones don't have to worry about licensing the passenger to fly in airspace because the person inside is just along for the ride. Not only does this air taxi have world-changing potential for simple transportation, but Ehang also plans to market its product to emergency response, such as fire departments and other first responders, helping the appropriate personnel arrive on the scene of an emergency much faster, ultimately saving lives. Ehang is an autonomous aerial vehicle technology platform company. Inspired by dreams and driven by innovation, the world's first autonomous aerial vehicle was successfully created. Ehang AAV, a globally recognized product, can be used in tourism, medical rescue, logistics, and air transportation. The new era of urban air mobility has started. Rain or wind, day or night, we've never halted our testing work. People-oriented and safety first, we've created the world's first AAV command and control center to accurately monitor data from the Ehang AAV and complete remote route control. That's all the vehicles we have for today, but surely there are more we should have mentioned. What are they? You can let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave us a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, and I will look forward to seeing you all right here next time for another great video.